everybody, it's Tom from PC Gamer here at PAX West with Eric Baroni, creator of Stardew Valley. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, thank you. This is your first show since the game has, has launched. How's the reception been? It's been amazing. I mean, it's just been so weird to meet people in real life that have played my game. You know, I've spent the last four and a half years just online, you know, in my own weird little bubble working on this. And now I'm just suddenly like meeting real people. It's gone from virtual to physical and it's just, it's really crazy and really awesome. Cool. Well, you guys are showing off an early build of the 1.1 content update that's coming to the game. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what's new in the build you're showing? Sure, yeah. Um, so one of the things that's new that I'm hoping will add some, you know, replay value to the game is you can now choose from five different farm layouts. Um, sorry, my throat is a little hoarse from the convention. You can choose from five different farm layouts when you uh, start a new character, and each layout is kind of uh, kind of focused on a different skill area of the game. So there's kind of like a fishing-oriented one, a mining-oriented one, combat, foraging, and um, yeah, it's like you you get a. Uh, a different kind of gameplay feature uh, in exchange for more limited farm space. So you kind of have to decide how you want to do that. Um, there's also a bunch of new farm buildings. There's like a shed, which is kind of an open-ended room that um, you can do anything you want with and you can decorate it. There's a mill, so you can turn uh, wheat into flour and uh, beets into sugar. And um, there's a few kind of uh, end game buildings that are really expensive. Um, for people who have been making a ton of money and need something to spend it on. Uh, there's, a, there's another building which I won't mention, but um, in addition to that, you can marry Shane and Emily, and they both have a, bunch, a whole bunch of new events to go along with that. And then there's just a lot of like little things in addition to that that are uh, just, you know, lots of requests like void mayonnaise or uh, the ability to turn honey into mead, stuff like that. Cool, and is there anything, I imagine there's probably more that's not in this build that you guys are, are still working on, or you're still working on. I'm so used to referring to a company, but it's just you, man. So what else What else can we expect from the 1.1 update when it's finally here? Well, um, beyond the 1.1 update, there's uh, gonna be the console ports, which uh, should be ready around the holidays, uh, which will be for Wii U, PS4, and Xbox One. And then there's gonna be, we're still working on the uh, multiplayer, which um, should be ready sometime next year, probably. Um, hopefully early next year, but you know, there's no guarantee on that. Um, but yeah, we're working on that. And uh, beyond that, everything is kind of I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do yet. But um, there's definitely a lot of potential with the game. I think I could keep working on it forever. But, you know, at some point, I also am interested in working on new projects, too. So just kind of got to figure out what I want to do after, after all that's finished. Cool. And on the multiplayer mode, uh, you, I believe, made the decision a little while back to actually bring some people in to help with the net code of that stuff. Do you feel like that's like a, a, was a good decision in retrospect? Definitely. Uh, yeah, I, I originally was a completely solo developer. But um, when the game really took off, there just ended up being so much work that I just couldn't handle it all myself. So uh, I've got, there's uh, Chucklefish, my publisher, is uh, actually helping with some of that, um, kind of the more technical side, like multiplayer and uh, the console ports and so on. So it leaves me um, to be able to just do the creative stuff, you know, like adding in the new content, which is what I ultimately enjoy doing anyway. And yeah, it's been good. Cool. And so when do you think we can expect the 1.1 update to come out? I'm shooting for about a month from now. Cool. Well, thanks very much for talking with us. And stay tuned at PCGamer.com for more from PAX West.